Welcome to Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we explain the three different cell types options available in the T-Rex solver. As you can see right here, I have three identical blocks that have been initialized using only isotropic tetrahedral cells. Let's go ahead and enter the T-Rex solver. The first block right here is using the first option called Tets and Surface Pyramids. When this option is selected, the T-Rex solver is not going to make any attempt to combine the created anisotropic tetrahedral cells. The second block is using the second option called All Tets, Pyramids, Prisms and Hexes. When this option is selected, the T-Rex solver will combine as much as possible the created anisotropic tetrahedral cells into prisms and hexahedral cells. The third block right here is using the third option calling All and Reduce Pyramids. When this option is selected, the T-Rex solver will combine all the created anisotropic tetrahedral cells as much as possible into prisms and hexahedral cells, but it will also reduce the number of pyramids in the process. I have two images right here that will hopefully clarify what is going on. The first image right here corresponds to the second T-Rex option called All Tets, Pyramids, Prisms and Hexes. When this option is selected, the T-Rex solver will take the last hexahedral cell in the T-Rex front and it will decompose that cell into five pyramids and two tetrahedral cells. So as you can see, every hexahedral cell in the front will present five pyramid cells to the isotropic TET measure. The second image right here is the kind of decomposition that is used when the third T-Rex option is selected, that is all and reduced pyramids. In this case, the T-Rex solver will take the last quad face that is shown by the last hexahedral cell and it will put one pyramid on top of it and then four tets on top of that. As you can see, this one hexahedral cell will basically present only one pyramid before it's passed to the isotropic TET measure. If I select my three blocks and run the initialization process, you can actually see the final result. No combination of the anisotropic TET cells, combination of the anisotropic TET cells, and combination of the T-Rex cell and the reduced number of pyramids. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.